morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Today is Vlogmas Day 17 and today we are making something super fun. We are making homemade bath bombs. 2020 seems to be the year where DIY homemade is what everyone is going towards and I'm no different. So I'm going to show you a simple way to make some homemade bath bombs that are sure to bubble with enjoyment. So, let's get started. I found my instructions via Pinterest from creativegreenloving.com and I will make sure and link the um, link in the description below. So, here are the ingredients that you will need. Super simple, super easy. You will need one cup of baking soda, one fourth cup of food grade citric acid, and I purchased mine um, via Amazon, and I will put the link in the description below if you are interested in it. Um, if you want to make them scented, um, essential oils that are scent safe, I personally use um, Young Living. That's just because of what I have on hand, and I know that it's safe. Um, if you can use any type of safe oils for your bath bombs, you can use lavender. I've also got wintergreen. Um, I've got peppermint. I've got, let's see, I've got a whole basket of oils <laughs> right here that I'm looking through. Um, this one is called Christmas Spirit. So any safe essential oil that you want to use if you want to put a scent in them. If you are making them for someone who does not have, who has problems with scents, you'll probably want to leave the essential oils out. Soap coloring. And I purchased this again off of Amazon. This is um, vibrant and stain free. It is food grade and irritation free. So even if they have a sensitivity that these could uh, be used for them, they are good for soap, bath bombs, slime, Play-Doh, bath salts, and this was a set of 12, I believe. Yep, 12. And there's everything from cherry red to kiwi green. There is chartreuse. There's tangerine orange. So we've got a good selection of soap coloring. You will need two tablespoons of water and you will need bath bomb molds. And again, I purchased these off of Amazon and there are several different sizes here. We have a small bath bomb. We have our medium sized bath bomb. And we have our Jumbo Bath Bomb. Here's the way I look at it. This is a good day. This was a, meh, this was a, a decent day. This was a start pouring the wine and don't stop until I tell you today. <laughs> so, and like I said, all of my Amazon items I will put in the link uh, below. And then if you want to make these um, for kids or if you want to put something special in the center, um, you will need a safe um, toy and something to wrap it in. Like if you, sometimes people will put like costume jewelry in their bath bombs. I would make sure to get some like saran wrap and kind of wrap it up so that it doesn't get all gunky in there. All right. So here are the directions and we're going to read the directions together. Then we're going to go make them. So it says to pre-measure everything, which completely makes sense. Double check that your toy, if you're using a toy or some sort of item, will fit. Um, so thoroughly mix together baking soda and citric acid to make the dry base for the bath bomb. And it has a little, it says bath bomb fun back, fun fact. When the baking soda and citric acid get wet, they create the chemical reactions that makes the bath bombs fizzy. So even though this is not a for kids video, if you have kids at home or you have grandkids or nieces and nephews who may be your home because they have remote school, you're looking for a science project, you can make homemade bath bombs. 
and don't go oh well I just got boys at home you can have them make them for friends or for family or maybe have them um, be a little entrepreneur for, and be ready for the spring for a garage sale and have them sell bath bombs to make um, some extra money. Hey, you never know. All right. So step three. And it's this says um, bath bomb tip for this step. I advise wearing gloves. Um, it says if you are planning to add your essential oils, do so now. If you are adding soap coloring, add it at the same time. Remember, a few drops will go a long way. Very slowly, pour about a teaspoon of water into your hand. Use your hand to massage the water into the dry mixture. Continue adding one teaspoon of water at a time, massaging it into the dry ingredients as you go until the mixture will clump together when squeezed in your hand. If you find you accidentally added too much water to your bath bomb, add more baking soda and citric acid to the bowl. Massage it in as you go until the correct texture is acquired. Then it says, scoop up some of the bath bomb mixture into one half of the bath bomb mold. Do not pack down. Next, press item, if you're using an item, into it. Mound more the mixture on top. Fill the other half of the mold with more mixture. So, pretty much it says... I can get these apart. They come with little tissue pieces in between them. So I was trying to get them. Okay. So what it's saying is you're going to fill this side and then you're going to fill this side. Um, quickly press the two halves together hard. And it says, uh, note, uh, I find that if I use a slight twisting pressure and from both sides helps to lock the two sides together. So that's something good to know. All right. You should be caref able to carefully and easily remove the bath bomb molds from the bath fizzy. If it is sticky, you can use a wood or silicone spoon to gently tap the molds to help loosen them. Sometimes they stick because the mixture is too wet. If this is the case, put all of the bath bomb mixture back in the bowl, add more baking soda and citric acid until the mix is dry but still holds shape. After, allow the bath bombs to air dry until completely solid. Depending on your humidity, this may be 24 to 48 hours. They're done when they sound and feel crusty, okay? So then it says how to use your bath bomb. Well, I'm pretty sure you run a hot bath and you pop in a bath bomb. So I'm pretty sure we got that down. So it says that's it. So pretty simple, straightforward instructions. All right. So let's gather up the rest of the ingredients and head back.
bowls and out of the mix the one cup of baking soda one fourth cup of citric acid it has made um two of these large ones and one medium sized and one baby bath bomb so uh, the instructions on this particular site weren't very clear to me um I assumed that you took the molds right off. That is how I read it. Um, however, I did a separate Google search. And according to a separate website, um, brambleberry.com, it says that you should leave your bath bombs in the mold itself for at minimum four hours or overnight. It says if you try to remove the bath bomb before it's fully dry, that it can crumble. And that totally makes sense to me. So here is how I am going to modify the instructions um, that Creative Green Living have given us. Um, it says for step five, oh, step five to remove the bath bombs from the mold and then let them dry for 24 to 48 hours. I'm flipping that. I am going to leave them in my molds for 24 hours overnight and let them get good and dry in their molds so that they stay molded and stay pretty shapes. And then tomorrow we will see how they turned out. I will tell you my house smells fantastic like wintergreen. I did put about 30 drops of wintergreen in them because I wanted them to be very, very aromatic. And I know that wintergreen doesn't bother me in a bath. Um, I do have sensitive skin. And so the only bath bombs that I can use without becoming an itchy, bloggy mess is the ones from Basin. So I'm hoping that these will... Oh my gosh, they smell so good. These will be um, just as good, especially since because there's literally just baking soda and the citric acid along with food coloring and essential oils and water. So I'm, I'm, I have positive thoughts. Okay, so we will see you in 24 hours. Okay, so it's about an hour later and I checked on my two smaller ones and... They came out awesome. So here is my tiny bath bomb. And I love how the color turned out. I think it goes perfect with the wintergreen scent. Kind of that light blue um, look. And then here is the medium sized bath bomb. I really like how... Um, it turned out as well and again it has a fantastic smell I'm really happy with the 30 drops of essential oil that I put in I definitely think that um, it gives it enough of an aroma now that might be too heavy for some people but for me it's not the larger ones I did check on one of them and it did seem a little still a little crumbly so I think that the large bath bombs are going to take probably 24 hours to um, kind of harden and solidify. Um, the smaller ones are going to be able to pop out of their um, little containers sooner than the larger, which definitely just makes sense. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll check on our big ones. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since we made our bath bombs. Sam ended up using the little one last night, um, and he really liked it. So I have my medium-sized one left of the small and medium. And they still smell really, really good. So I opened up the large ones. So the last one that I make literally just crumbled apart when I popped the uh, mold. So I think by the time I got to the very end of the mixture, it had um, pretty much dried too much. So I think if it's taking you a little bit to make your bath bombs, you may need to add just a little bit of water 
um, towards the end to finish up any bath bonds you may be making. So the very first one that I put together, I went to pop it out and it literally stayed in the container. So what I plan to do, because I can't get it to pop out, <coughs> I will just drop these in um, my bath <coughs> and then I'll get my little containers back. So I think what I have found in making these is that I really like the mini one and the medium size one better uh, because this is the medium size and I think that that's just perfect for a nice bath at home. Um, I may try to make another big one again in the future but I mean this is what I came out with and it's it is dry. It's not like it's wet and it needed more time. So that's a bummer but it's all trial and error and you figure out the correct formula eventually. So thank you so much for making bath bombs with me and again I will make sure to link everything in the description below. Um, the citric acid, the um, the um, molds, and the coloring. Wherever that ran away to. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.